Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. That's what Dwayne says. I have no idea. And he says, tomorrow's my birthday. So, so yay. <laughs> uh, um, I said, I'm going to be 43. I said, no, wait a minute. I'm only three months old. I'm not forty. going to be 43. I'll, I'll take the three months. But um, sitting here, we're, we're going to leave like in two hours. Our plane for our flight home and everything. As you can see, the rash is looking different. There's definitely these brown spots and I don't know what these are. They're like brown patches. Maybe it's where the skin might be getting ready to peel. And this was always the most really sensitive part and it's really raw and brown and peeling and stuff. But I think you can definitely it's broken up quite a bit there and you can see right here it's breaking up and along my hairline and there so just in weird spots <laughs> but um and this my chin is really a lot smoother it was real it is rough as this and it's a lot smoother so it's looking different but the pain and the sting and the burn is still there Hopefully it'll lessen as the day goes on and it won't be as bothersome. And my, I definitely can tell the difference. I now know I definitely, you know, had bacteremia or do, and, but my blood was infected. You know, I was getting weaker and weaker and I know I was getting sicker. It seems like by now I would, would know when my blood's infected with staph because that's the fourth time because I've had bacteremia, septicemia, and full-blown sepsis. Seems like I would be able to recognize it. <laughs> and I wonder since, uh, you know, since I had it, it makes it me more susceptible and easier to get it. I wonder that. And, but I'm on the road to recovery. It's going to be a long trip home today. I think we have a layover on this one and have to change planes which is going to make it more difficult and, you know, wear me out. But I'm ready to get home to see my Sheldon and to see my buddy. And not ready to get back to 110 degree weather, but it's in the 90s here, so it's not much different. Now, last week when it was in the 70s, it was like heaven. Heading to the airport. Got my ice bags on my ears. I said people's gonna think I got my wisdom teeth pulled or something. <laughs> that's what it looks like. But Dwayne said he thinks that the rash looks a lot better, that it looks like it's halfway gone or half, you know, that it's getting better. I'm just waiting for it to feel better. It's a Chicago dog it is. And some really good looking french fries. Ever feel like a sardine? Why? And the first one's on, so I took the first row because it's southwest, so there's no sign seating. And the stewardess came back and told me that I would probably like to welcome to our rest and air conditioning member or customer doesn't board. start until like like the floor. You know, you can get a little bit of a hint. Like the actual the so we'll be back. Yeah. 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 Eventually after camp. Made it home. Just waiting right, for it. Yeah, and she's Just waiting for everybody to get off. And now it's our turn. And it's over 100 degrees outside. Not going to be fun. That I text Sheldon earlier and I told him to make sure the house was cold as it could be. Uh, home sweet home. Oh, home city. It made it with us, yeah. Remember when we left, I took a picture of exactly where we were parked in the parking garage? So now we know exactly where to go. Thank you, Shea Carl. Shea tarts are awesome. Okay. 
this would be the evidence of my car is there. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Perfecto. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I made it home. And oh, just got through taking my shower and everything, getting ready for bed. And I think you can already tell. I, th I hope you guys can see a difference. We can. This right in here is all raw, like where it looks darker. It's there, it's really raw spots, and they're really painful. And I just put that cream on so it's getting ready to start to sting. But I get to go take my Benadryl. I haven't taken my Benadryl today, so that ought to help me sleep too. But I was thinking, I started giggling when we were. I forget which airport it was, but I got asked twice if I needed medical attention. <laughs> And I was just sitting there with my ice bags on my face. You know, I wasn't like laying down in the ground slobbering or anything. I was just sitting there quiet and peaceful trying to, you know, keep the pain under control, the stinging and the burning and the inflammation down as much as I could. And, <laughs> and Dwayne and I thought, what if they, we said, yes, we need medical attention? What would they have done? When I said I said when I said I had a stem cell transplant, they would have start running the other direction, and then when I tell them that I have a rare viral skin infection, they'd start running even faster, and when I tell them my blood has staph infection, I think they'd just stop and fall over, <laughs> and then they probably wouldn't have let me on the plane. <sighs> but we're home, so thankful to be home. And tomorrow's my birthday, so I don't know whether to say I'm 43 or three months old. I'll take the three months old. <laughs> that sounds good, but uh, I'm going to go lay down. I'll see you guys in the next video.